Hey, welcome to Excalibur Mining. Sorry that I haven't put out anything in the last week. It's been um, pretty crazy, but uh, I just wanted to talk about the Mimble Wimble coin, and um, it's sort of a speculative mining, but it also has been uh, on top of the what to mine. So I just wanted to show a couple things I've found, and um, here we go. So I will leave a link to their website, but you can go through and read their white paper and decide if it's something that you want to hold or if you want to convert to BTC or, or whatever. Um, this is just going to be a quick video to show you how to mine it. Uh, you can click obviously on, on wallet here and download the wallet that you want to install. There's instructions for that that I'll show you. Also, there's Frosty Pool and Ice Mining and there are some mining guides uh, here on on their site so as per typical it's always good to check it things out over here on on uh, mining pool stats and you can see that there's two versions there's the 29 and the 31 uh, and in order to figure out which version um, may be more profitable say for instance you have 1080s or if you have different cards you can always put them up here but this has always seemed to be um you know one of the top top mineable uh, coins as far as you know for profitability on what to mine and i don't try to chase things that you know are up for 10 minutes and down because you can chase your tail but uh, this one has been fairly consistent for the last couple weeks uh, this is not financial advice <laughs> but uh, it's the CR29, so you want to differentiate between the two. So over here on Mining Pool Stats, you'll want to select the 29 version. And you have a couple of major pools, obviously. Uh, this one's, I believe, a French version and a Canadian version. They're closer. They also have more hash rate, so, you know, depending on your uh, preference for distributed hash. But um, it also seems to be a little bit easier to understand their instructions. So... Let's go ahead and check those guys out. So when we click on ice mining, it takes us to their site. You can click on the NWC, which has both versions here. You'll see a page that looks like this. And you have a how to mine button. So we'll go there and it gives you um, an advertisement that you will probably uh, want to skip. So with this ad, I thought it might be part of actually ice mining, but if you just close it, it'll bring you back. And this is the real ice mining page. So under here, you can read through the instructions, how to set up a wallet. Uh, there's a lot of resources here, but the important thing here is the G miner or LOL miner. So you have two uh, miners that are, are basically available. So let's go ahead and try out the G miner. So as you can see with uh, G miner, you know, you'll want to select the 29 if that's what you want to mine. And um, it says to put in your username, a rig name, and your password. So I'll, I'll go over that, but so you can go in here and grab your Grin 29 and open that up. So this is brand new and not mine. So it's just what, what comes with your original download for the miner. And then we will go over here. And you can see that we have uh, the Grin 29 string. We'll copy that out, uh, paste it in. So we have miner, grim29, ice mining, and then your username. So let's just go ahead and type in xcal test rig name uh, test one, two, three. There you go. And password. So our password, just for the testing purposes, here is going to be. Um, test ice 2020 why not hopefully that doesn't spell something inappropriate all right so we can close this save it 
And you can rename the bat file if you want, um, or copy it so that you can still do your grin if that's what you want to mine later, and then launch the miner. Now here's where I ran into a little issue. So as you can see, we are mining away, and under this we have you know the our speed and our hash rates, but we're not getting any uh, any shares, and we keep getting the rejected fail. Uh, to validate solution so if you guys are experiencing this or if you have uh, a solution to this as far as gminer 1.96 is concerned um, please leave it in the comments and let me know how that looks okay but now what i want to look at is if we go back here to ice mining and uh, you will see a page that looks a little more like this we can go up to the wallet and under here, what we'd want to do is uh, select our test. So I've already been in here, but xcal test. This is what we put in the bat file. You put in this as your username, and then you also put in a rig name and your password. So you're basically creating all that data in the bat file. Um, again, we don't care about that test. Um, so now we have xcalibur test in here, and you should just have whatever you put into your bat file as a uh, username. And it shows that you know we are have a miner online and it's mining, but there's nothing being produced. So that's not a good thing. Uh, if you did, uh, you can go here and you would submit like either your hotbit address, which is the only exchange, I believe, or your uh, uh, MWC wallet. And then this is the password that you put into your bat file, and then you could submit the payment. So it's really important to keep those, you know, ultra secret and keep track of those because that actually generates it for uh, the pool here. So the solution I found for mining this, if we go back to, excuse me, um, how to mine. So if we go back here, we can see that the G miner did not work that great. But um, there are two types of miners. So LOL miner is available as well. And um, if we grab the latest version, which I had found uh, on GitHub, is uh, 0 0.97. And I'm using Windows, so I downloaded the Windows version. And then we'll go to Configuration. So under Configuration, you're going to copy, well, the 29 or the 31, depending on what you're using, and then also this string down here. So if you look, you know, you set the GPU, and you also have under here, you know, LOL, Miner, and your username and password again. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you can see, after you download your LOL miner, you're going to get these bat files. And what I ended up doing is just grabbing the 29, going into edit. And then we're going to want to replace this section here. And we'll go over here. And you can probably clip this out. So we'll go over here and we'll grab this section here. As far as uh, your settings are concerned, and we'll just replace those and then we'll also go back and you'll see down here that you have your other settings copy and we'll go ahead and uh, replace this completely as well so now in here you have your username so we'll go xcal mining 2 and uh, test 2 and the password doesn't really matter because we're not really downloading anything so uh, we'll go Excalibur mining 2 so that is basically your wallet right there and then this is your rig name in case you have more than one rig so we'll close that we'll save it and we'll launch it so um, the values get set and um, it starts to mine. So I haven't seen any difficulties here. We can always, you know, come back and take a look at that in a second. But now what we want to do is go back 
go to the wallet under the MWC. Go down here to wallet address. We'll just paste in that mining two. Get rid of that one. That's kind of annoying. Sorry. And we'll hang out here for a little bit and see if we have anything show up. Now we have one miner, and of course, uh, it was showing that you know the shares were good. Um, I guess we can go take a look at that. So we have set difficulties. Uh, both GPUs were, when I tested this earlier, were not having any issues. Um, and it seemed to actually report better uh, graphs per second in uh, the pool than it reported on the miner, but that could be just an anomaly. So what I noticed here is when you do this, um, it takes a little time for this to populate. So we'll go ahead and uh, give it about 15 minutes. So obviously it's been over 15 minutes, but as you can see there, uh, you know, every, let's see, how many minutes? Every so many minutes anyway, it will show that you have an immature uh, amount, uh, 0 0.006869555, 65, etc and then it'll uh, total it up here for what's your unpaid and it'll take a little while to go through the immature process and then we just got another one so uh, with lol miner i guess the the point here is that that does work it, it does you know produce on the ice mining pool it's fairly easy once you get the hang of it to just you know uh, edit the batch file and it'll show up here and then i haven't uh downloaded obviously anything to a wallet out of here but um seems fairly straightforward uh, it uses an http uh, address and when you go into something like hotbit um, it'll provide you with that so um, i assume that that will work but i haven't tested it out so if you have any other suggestions if you have um as far as different cards if you found uh, you know, better hash rates or, you know, overclock settings that, that work particularly well. Or if you have, like I said, the, the G minor, uh, the way to get it to work, then please uh, leave that in the comments down below and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. So, if you were paying attention through the video, you probably saw the Excalibur Mining uh, username and password. Uh, of course, I'm not going to be using that again, but as an added bonus, you know, the first person that goes in there to support it, the, the project, or to, for the good of the community, uh, go ahead and feel free to, you know, download it to your, your um, MWC address. So, if you go there and it's not there anymore, then you know you're at least number two. Anyway, uh, happy mining, and we'll see you next video. Like and subscribe.